today we're going south of the border. So we're on our way down to Tijuana, my hometown, and we are we're gonna visit family there and I'm gonna check up on the new machine shop so they can possibly make some of the parts for the Bendy Pot. But while we're on our way there, I wanna make a video. The last video that I put there, pretty much talking about that BMS and how we don't use BMS. And so some questions always keep coming up. Uh, there was a comment by Otmar. Um, which he's saying, you know, be cautious about this thing where you're saying uh, that you don't use BMS and you're trying to be like you know, macho or whatever. Which I, I really respect Otmar. He really knows what he's talking about. He's, if you don't know who Otmar is, he designed and developed the Zilla controller, right? And then Manzanita Michael bought it or whatever. So this guy knows what he's talking about. He is well versed in electronic. The concern that he raises is that how do you know how these cells uh, and in particular are the uh, the lithium cobalt cells people using lithium cobalt cells um, could bring some trouble in the future and and the reason why those as opposed to the lithium cobalt oxide right which are the older technology is because those are less you have less margin of error what this concern is that what's gonna happen when uh, all of these packs this Tesla packs start getting old and maybe start drifting apart from each other right and so it's a legitimate concern yeah what what is gonna happen when that if when if that happens when they're starting old, right? so the the simple answer is that we don't know we haven't had these cells long enough to run them all the way to the end of their life cycle but what we are doing is with the DIY power wall we are starting with cells that are close to the 70 to 80 or 70 percent of their original capacity so we're starting out with cells that are at the end of their life and so not particularly me because I don't have my power wall yet running but people like Peter Matthews down in Australia he actually has a power wall that he is using every day without a BMS and he is using old cells that are at the end of their life and so if those are gonna drift all over the place and he's gonna find it hard to keep those cells uh, working together and he's gonna start you know getting himself into trouble then that is gonna be an indication of what the Tesla ones are gonna do look the Tesla ones Tesla went to a lot of trouble to to match each group of those cells I don't know if they actively did that or it just happens to be that way because they were starting with brand new cells right but the fact is that when we're testing them these are incredibly uh, matched groups of cells and so when you take them all the way up and you take them all the way down um, they are very close in volts I mean we're seeing like less than 20 milliamps at any uh, at, in, in any place either at the bottom or the top right and so that e either speaks really well for the BMS that they develop or whatever and that's why they're so close together or it's just that the cells were are really closely matched and so they're they don't drift the bottom line is that we are in uncharted territory here. We, we really haven't had these cells long enough, I think, to run them all the way to the end of their life and see if we're gonna get in trouble. So it's not like that I don't believe that these uh, cells can be dangerous, that they can catch fire. I totally know that they can. There are plenty of examples of people. You know, I know someone that I gave some cells I made a battery for this guy and he managed to make it catch fire right and so he just I know there's gonna be people that are going to do everything in their power to make every mistake and do everything they're not supposed to do to get a, a battery to catch fire and so uh, my advice is if you are one of those guys that you know, don't know and don't necessarily care about how batteries work you, you're not excited about learning this sort of stuff 
yeah, you might be better off by using a BMS. Now, if you are like us, that, you know, we're kind of geeky and we like batteries and we like to know how they work, then you're gonna be totally fine not using a BMS, right? And so, you gotta do your own research and, and you gotta be responsible for what you do. But for us and our, uh, and our vehicle stuff, we just don't use BMS. We, the way I see it, they introduce more risk into our battery packs than just running them without a BMS. Now, that might be different for you again. If you're not interested in learning and, you know, and taking care of your battery pack every once in a while, checking voltages and stuff, yeah, you're probably gonna be better off using some BMS, but that, that's not the case. Um, but I wouldn't be able to help you because I don't, we don't use them every day, so we have very little experience and stuff, right? And so, you know, with the case of, of uh, EV West, obviously Michael feels comfortable enough to entrust these batteries to be able to put them on customers' cars and ship them. You know, there are a lot of these cars out there. There's, I don't know, he's probably nearing about 100 cars at this point that have battery packs that don't have BMS systems on them. And so far, no problems. Um, you know, and these guys are guys that run batteries all the way to the end of their life. Uh, and some of them prematurely just because of the way they're running. They're running, they're, you know, they're, they're doing high performance vehicles, you know, running uh, in race cars and stuff. And so, you know, even then like that, you know, they know what batteries are. Michael has had experience on, on batteries. And so that is my thoughts on BMS. And I want to make this quick video. Uh, while I'm on the road here. So I hope you guys like it. If you guys have any opinions and if maybe you see that I'm not looking at this thing the right way, you know, leave it in the comments there. I do read the comments and if you guys are not rude and condescending, then I usually I'm open to discussion and stuff, right? So thank you for watching this video. We'll see you up in the next one. and give away my drone? Well, I think I should try to do another giveaway. What do you guys say? I'll look around <laughs> until I find It's raining. Alright, today is raining in California, so you guys know what that means. Remember a couple of months ago I said I was gonna...